Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd just really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, all my subscribers, for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Make sure to hit that subscribe button now, and please don't forget to press that bell icon. When comparing the number of engagements, completed days worked in a year. Princess Anne is frequently regarded as one of the firm's toughest workers. Princess Anne traveled to Glasgow, Scotland on Thursday, the day after she walked behind the coffin of her mother, Queen Elizabeth, in London. There she met with city officials, accepted condolences from Glasgowians, and looked after wreaths that had been placed in the memory of the monarch, who passed away last week. According to a royal observer, Princess Anne hasn't shown any signs that she intends to ease up after the Queen's reign comes to an end. The Princess Royal has been a dedicated employee of the firm for the past 50 years, and although she is in her 70s, she still takes on hundreds of engagements each year to proudly represent the champion, the crown, and her patronages. There is no reason to believe, according to royal authority Jonathan Scardotti, that the royal will stop providing support under the rule of her older brother, King Charles. According to him, Princess Anne is widely regarded as very dedicated, no-nonsense, low-profile royal. And there's no reason to suppose that she won't continue in that vein. She's accepted her role as a royal, working royal based on the number of engagements she has. I believe she is one of, if not the hardest working. Therefore, I don't see why she shouldn't continue to help the future king in the same way that she did with her mother. In reality, she did mention her brother Charles in the statement she made during the period of brief. I believe she expressed gratitude to the people for standing by him through this difficult time. So if I fail to understand why she wouldn't continue, they're all aging. So there will come a time when they might desire to take on fewer responsibilities. It's a unique aspect of the rule that he's ascending to the throne at the time when many people are considering retirement or have already retired. But instead, he's assuming a major role that's even more significant than the one he had throughout his life. They're all getting older. And since the younger generation includes Prince William... For instance, perhaps they will take on greater responsibilities, as senior members like Princess Anne possibly slow down. I'm not sure we've seen that yet in any evidence. Miss Scardotti referred to the statement Buckingham Palace made on Anne's behalf on September 13th, following the royal's journey from Scotland to London, with Queen Elizabeth II's casket. Anne thanked the mourners in Britain and said she was privileged to have been by her mother's beside during her final 24 hours. She also mentioned the honor and privilege it had been to travel with the late queen on her final trip across the country. I'm also incredibly appreciative of the kindness, compassion shown by my loving brother Charles that he takes on the additional duties of the monarch. Even after Queen Elizabeth's funeral, during the seven-day period of royal mourning, Anne went out to express her gratitude to the Navy personnel who had anticipated in the funeral procession of her mother. The Queen's only daughter has performed various engagements since King Charles' ascension to the throne, including hosting an investor ceremony where she confronted a CMG on actor Daniel Craig. After a month of the passing of Queen Elizabeth, she already undertook a low-key visit to New York, during which she squeezed in a number of engagements related to organizations she supports. The Princess Royal will visit organizations affiliated with her patronage including Save the Children and the Opportunity International during a hectic journey to Uganda, starts today and lasts until Friday. And her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, will accept her on this trip. So what do you guys think of this news? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.